Hi everyone. So today I am gonna start my debt free journey. I'm excited because I know this is what I've always wanted. I have to get out of debt before I live that luxurious life um, that really isn't serving me and I've come to that conclusion after many many years of just wasting money. One of the things that I do splurge on is not even my wardrobe. I do love fashion but I do like to travel. I think traveling really stacked up. Um, I try to pay everything out of pocket but at the same time I already had student debt <sighs> which I discovered like Budget Girl, she's one of the main YouTubers that motivated me to do this. She said that one of her roommates said you can actually take out more student loans and use it for fun, which I kind of did. I lived above my means um, and I no longer do that, but at the same time, I pay off my student loan here and there. I do tend to put it in deferment. That happened a lot of times, uh, but I know I cannot have that happen. And even though I do tend to pay things now and days with cash. I have to pay on my loans first because they're just there and instead of me using that money to pay cash for my trips or for anything that I want, I just I'm I'm just I'm just done with that. Like I don't like that looming above me every step that I take. Um you know, I don't want I just I just don't want that. I'm, I'm fed up and thank God I've never been in a situation where I do not have, I've been laid off or um, fired from a job and not been able to pick myself up and I think I've I have but credit cards have always been there for me and because I'm not a huge credit card person. You'll see right now that I do have one credit card. So dun dun dun! Okay, this is my debt right here. And let me explain. Okay, student loans. I have 32,000 in student loans. Yes, that's a big one. Um, next is my MasterCard. This is a combination of my business. I have a photo booth business that I'm getting off the ground. It's new. It's something that I really love to have on the side and I'm really making my business grow. Um, I do think that that was worth it. I mean, it wasn't worth getting into debt. The other half is personal things. I love to <sighs> do self-improvement workshops um, specifically the Matthew Hussey workshop that's coming up it's a retreat of personal health and I am gonna attend it I know it was a big one I debated whether to do it because I'm like I want to go out of debt or I want to do this and of course that's one thing that they say no 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 just put the line here stop using credit cards decide to stop getting into debt but I had the opportunity to go and of course it would have been there after. But I was a point in my life where I needed this and I was spiraling out of control. For personal reasons, I do believe that this was the best choice for me to go into debt for that because I know it will bring me thousands more than I ever hoped for. Um, I'm gonna make that workshop happen. I'm gonna make that workshop, everything I learned during that week, I am gonna apply it because I went into debt for this and no, 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 no. So that's basically why I have this big amount here. It's about $8,000. Half of it, of course, is business. Then here, I have personal loan which is for six fifty. This loan, it's from my mom, and I cringe at saying that because you know I don't want to like borrow money from my mom, but I just had to. This is why I'm doing the Dave Ramsey plan now because I was so out of control with my money, not with spending, but. I overpaid last month on 
the MasterCard. And I was like, oh yeah, I have enough money to cover that. And then I forgot, no, I do not. That money was meant to stay in there. Because <laughs> the first of the month, that's when a bill comes up and I have to have money in there <laughs> for that to be paid off. And at the like 10 days before the first, I was like, <gasps> I'm not gonna have enough money. So I ended up borrowing $650 from my mom and I told her I will pay you as soon as my next check comes in and that'll be not this weekend but next weekend so as soon as that happens I'm gonna go ahead and pay her just because I told her it's only for a certain amount of time and then I will pay you right after that I will start Dave Ramsey plan which is baby step number one which is saving a thousand dollars so that is my plan as of right now other than that, I am going to abide by Dave Ramsey because I know for a fact and I've seen it for so many years of following Dave Ramsey, his plan works. I've seen it through Budget Girl, I've seen it through multiple colors. I'm very excited. Uh, so my debt total is, let's see, $40,700. Forty-seven and fifty-five cents. I'm trying to read it backwards. Fifty-two cents. Okay, this is how I'm, you know, initiating my beginning journey to get debt-free um, by printing this out, the debt-free chart that I've seen so many YouTubers use, and I'm really excited because this is going to be a visual thing. I also have a budget sheet that I will share with you um, as soon as you know I get that working um, but this is like a visual that I could keep in my fridge and remind me why I'm only eating a few <laughs> two eggs for lunch or <laughs> just have like a certain amount of food in my fridge just because I don't really need it A and B I'm gonna get out of debt and I'm motivated I am very motivated so these numbers when I pay $815 then I get to shade one line of the debt free chart and this is how it's gonna be so I'm gonna go ahead and write that down how that is broken down on the debt free charts ah! hello Okay, so let's get started. I have my notepad here and I have my Sharpie pen here and we are going to fill this out over here. Remember, we're going to do $815 increments. So whenever I pay $815 off, that's going to be one line shaded. I can't wait for that. Okay, so the first one is going to be $815. Okay, so times two. The next one is going to be sixteen thirty.
my debt-free scream, my debt-free everything. <laughs> um, I'll zoom you out uh, so you can see everything. Uh, so this is it. Don't mind this. This is an, an antique table, which I really, really love. Let's just put my phone over here. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is it. I hope to fill it out um, sooner rather than later. But um, whatever ends up happening as long as um, progressing means more than being in debt. So I have everything calculated. Um, of course, I'm going to go ahead and deduct this, um, do this, then baby step number one. After baby step number one, that's when I'll go ahead and do baby step number two, which is pay off my debt. But first, I have to do my $1,000 in just emergency fund. This chart, if you've never seen it before or you're trying to get your hands on this, I will leave a link down below plus you can go on this website right here but i'll link it down below and then i'll also link dave ramsey just in case you've never heard of the babe steps or want to hear more about them or anything i'll be more than happy to share that with you um thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye